the start button is um, with I two more and that's the same apology to ask. So I have a comment from Council Bassington and uh, Council Lawson and Council Council. So it's written on item 2 to note declarations of members' interests. Uh, so item 3 is to confirm the sign of minutes of the Public Services Committee meeting held on the 21st of May. Um, so, um, yes, so anything else? Thank you. So, item four, public participation, period uh, with uh, members of the public as questions or submit comments. I, I've got no case saying no questions were submitted. So, in that case, I'm just uh, keeping that. Okay, uh, item number five, <coughs> to note the estate financial position of the public service. There is uh, one point to make in terms of uh, the uh, budget line um, around the generation of projects. There was a small amount of uh, budget which uh, wasn't invoiced quickly from the previous financial year, uh, about £3,500 pounds from um, a company that did um, some sound picks and, and, and sound arts. So that's reduced the, uh, the generation of projects budget slightly. There are some other um, reductions there, but they are subject to some new art. They might be subject to the projects and we'll go back into the budget. Any extra questions? Any, any expected issues? I mean, everything seems fine, doesn't it? And obviously, we're going to be going on to the delivery of the business plan. But any, any particular questions or um, issues arising for, uh, around the finance? Um, and no, as, as, as far as we can see, no, although there may be if we don't make decisions around allocation of budgets, which are within the, in the agenda tonight, there may be some issues further down the line with the uh, unallocated budgets. Right, so item number six has to receive an update and consider matters related to the business delivery plan for 24-25. Thank you. So, um, as you see this, I've put together a report and, and highlighted the, the key to the project areas and progress uh, along those lines. Um, most of the budget for this committee is allocated in terms of purchase of service delivery, um, such as ranges and park maintenance. Um, Team crew is covered in item 7. Regeneration projects and public realm budget expenditure and projects are covered in item 9, although there have been some um, expenditure related to both of those. CCTV, um, that service again is maintained as a standard fixed fee. But um, that the cost uh, lower than we originally anticipated thanks to the purchase of some uh, cameras through um, external funding, which is safe streets funding. So it was lower than originally uh, projected. So we do have potentially a small surplus. We have had a damage to CCTV uh, mobile camera. Well, it's, it, it blew uh, with a, an electrical surge. So um, we could reallocate the purchase of a new camera. To support either the Queen Crew project, which is also um, benefiting from some external funding, or to help to secure uh, one of our parks. And at the moment, the one that I would suggest needs a kind of Samuel Street, which is also going to be uh, subject to some improvement shortly. Um, floral schemes progressing well, everything's budget. We've had some really positive feedback, and I'm, I'm getting that on a regular basis. Which is nice to know that the community is making positive comments, but also businesses coming to Crewe who 
really involved in placemaking at the places that he was saying he was to. So we can share that with you and I'll pass that on to answer. And Town Centre maintenance and the repaint um, is progressing. It did stall a little bit with some of the bad weather, but um, the original um, phases should be completed by ne the end of next week. And then we will start on repainting some of the items again, such as the benches, they're the priority because they're subject to the worst wear in the town centre. And if there's any um, excess time that we've contracted or because to, we'll allocate some further tasks for that. In terms of parks, uh, ANSA have tendered for the design services, um, so that we'll have some working designs to take out for additional consultation on. Um, and they are going to update the costumes um, which we discussed earlier in the year. So I'll bring that back as soon as I can, either to uh, the, the committee meeting in November or if the opportunity uh, presents itself earlier than that, I'll bring it back to you uh, before that. Um, the crew bid um, is, a, is a matter of noting and, and monitoring, so I, I uh, work, uh, work with the crew bid now as a bid auditor. Has been formed. Their new bid manager has been appointed and now starts on the 23rd of September. Uh, prior to that, there is going to be a board meeting on the 18th of September um, and uh, groundwork and their sort of temporary sort of project management support um, officer have uh, put together a strategy for them to look at and, and make some decisions on. But that will uh, cover the expenditure in the main project for first year, uh, including um, some external marketing support, contract to do some town big area um, promotion, and some public land improvements, and possibly some art improvements, which will complement the work of the town council. Um, so those are priorities that they'll be deciding on in September. Um, so, so that's that's everything, and the only decision I'd like, like you to consider is, is around that purchase. <clears throat> on the green space, <clears throat> um, what's the sort of time scale time taken for the delivery of the project? So I'm awaiting um, the time scales from the project manager. Obviously, he's been involved in a lot of projects and lots of deliveries just recently. But I think we're looking at next spring for actual delivery. Once we get those plans agreed. Yes, uh, thank you, Chair. A couple of things. Um, on the CCTV uh, stuff where we have picked up the, uh, the single street funding, has there been anything from Stuart Hobson about what impact that has had at all? The, you know, the, the additional cameras, because there's, there's, there's a, in, an improvement in quality as well as I understand. There is, yes, there is a, a quite an improvement on quality. Not all of the cameras have been installed yet, we're still awaiting um, a few to go, and I think there's one to go in by Chaplin or to the Victoria Centre, uh, there's one to go into the retail park, uh, for example. But what they can actually see with the new cameras is great. They've also repositioned some cameras to accommodate the fact that those have been able to widen the scope, um, and that's opened up whole areas. So I think once we get the whole lot in the school, we'll be the end of it. Can I ask about the, the, the town centre lighting uh, project? With the, the delay in there, you put in the paper here about the Arts Council request to change the school. Oh, and sorry, we, yes. Have we got, have we got has that been resolved now? I've got a meeting on Friday morning. Um, still, it seems like the willingness from the partners of the licensing theatre of UPC to work with that. Right. But obviously, we've got to um, make sure that the timeline is workable, particularly when it's delivering the syllabus, delivering the work within the UPC. Um, but there seems to be that willingness. Um, the um, theatre company are keen to get that Arts Council application back in uh, next week. And then we're waiting. 
you don't you don't think there's like a, a problem draw from the whole concept by the Arts Council? No, because yeah. the guidance that they gave quite constructive feedback. Um, it did seem that they tried to extend the scope of the project in some ways. So that's something that we're going to have to discuss in terms of deliverables. Um, but to get that degree of feedback, very much encouraged that. Right. Okay, so what we need to do first of all is to note the report and then um, we need to um, basically have a place for CCTV camera to support to the crew all parts of the um, in the CCTV. So first of all, everyone happy to note the report? And then we just need someone to um, propose and authorise the data. All those in favour? Yeah. Okay, so uh, item seven is to consider matters related to the cleanup group project. Um, basically, just to give you a head up on this, we'll go to the recommendation of the council. Where we've got three options to go through. Um, do you want to go through this first before the three options? Or would, you uh, would you like me to just summarise it? Yes. Okay. So, at the last meeting, you'll, you'll remember um, it was obvious to recommend to full council supporting the development of, a, of an officer role um, with the emphasis or further emphasis around the educational um, uh, points of that role as well. Circulated a, a, a brief for the job, which is uh, attached, um, and again, that was based on feedback um, that was provided. Well, at council, it was um, uh, resolved to support, but with the requirement for further information from Cheshire's Council. So, in this report, I've outlined um, the response that I've uh, obtained regarding those. So, uh, in no particular order, in terms of the uh, article for directions, there are no funds to extend the moment article for directions for proof. Um, in terms of um, enforcement, there are no provisions to extend the provision. Um, the, the, the response I have is that the provision for enforcement, environmental enforcement, in proof, is in, in response to demand and weighed against uh, the Best of the requirements for Cheshire's. Uh, so I'm afraid I can't offer any further commitment that you'll, you'll get any more than that um, from Cheshire's, particularly closer to the current uh, financial situation. Um, and I think we have the effectiveness of the pilot. The effectiveness of the pilot. So we've had no further um, response to that request. Um, I have made that request. There has been a change of um, head for that team. Um, so the, the interim head um, haven't been asked to produce anything. I believe there's potentially a discussion to come um, on that. Uh, perhaps this um, part of the days. Right. So at, at the moment, I can give you no further information than that. So really the options are there, do you, do you wish to progress regardless or do you require more information in order to um, make that final decision or is it feeling that on the basis of those additional areas of support not being available that you find that it's the proposal not viable? So. That's it. I wasn't at the last council meeting, so I didn't hear the arguments um, for these conditions. Um, on the face of that, we voted against them um, for a number of reasons. Uh, the published report on clean and crew, you know, I'm not going to get that now. There's nobody there doing the jobs. The Cheshire needs to do that, Every, everything's gone. Um, the issue about enforcement, I thought we were specifically not going to do enforcement. 
to, to this job. Um, and I think as far as the, the expansion of Section 46 notices is only concerned, I'm sure that's a policy issue, which has really significant to do with offices there, really. Um, my view about this sort of thing always is never be dependent upon anybody else doing anything. Uh, if we see if we see a reason for doing something that we want to do, go ahead and do it. Uh, we wouldn't have had the town of ages the last one to years if we weren't taking that view in the past. Um, I, I guess we might get on to some wider issues later on in the agenda, but, but th th this issue for me is very much around the whole debate about devolution of services. Um, and it, no doubt we will pick up to what extent that hasn't been any progress on that. Um, this year, I, I mean, I mean, for me, we are we are either we are either as a town council play a role in covering this sort of activity, or or we don't. Um, we do something where we think we can make a difference and improve the lives of people who live in, live in town. We shouldn't be dependent upon. Um, on anybody else, um, it's for us to judge whether our investments are the correct ones to do and the ones that do deliver the outcomes that we need. Yeah. <coughs> well, I'm dismayed by the, uh, the response from Cheshire or the absence of the response. I mean, the, uh, it was always stated that there would be, because he obviously. Cleaning Crew project <coughs> did a lot of good work and the lessons to be learned. And frankly, uh, I'd say members, whether it's here or at Cheshire, we would be fighting this off. Now, we've been told by before now, haven't we, that there's a report was published. But that's not actually the case. You know, they did this sort of follow up, but this is for an assignment to say. You know, the person who was Um, more or less, <coughs> and before that report actually could be produced. Um, so, you know, it's a, it's a useful project where the lessons <coughs> that you know, they're there to be learned, but uh, nobody to join them together. We had a little class, so we said we want, to, we want to publish reports on the effectiveness of that. And that's a reasonable public request, not just from the committee. Um, and if I don't know, no, that's no, not, quite quite right. no, that's not, not quite what I said. Um, no. the, there is an argument that we, we've received an argument in the past that there has been a report, and I can go to provide the last update, which was also uh, the presentation that was given to managers earlier this year. Um, but I asked for the final report, which was intimated there would be, but there hasn't been a final report, and the, and the person is now there. <coughs> We've been told that a report is going to be done, but the person who's now in post, whoever that might be, uh, isn't aware of that. Is there, is there some communication issue with Treasury? I, I, I couldn't answer that. No, All I can say is that person is in, is in interim and, and trying to deliver another project. So I would imagine it's not in post. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Somebody somewhere needs to know whether we can, you know, make that point. Those um, section 46 notices in the article surely, you know, the report or the, the council would be monitoring the, the impact and the effectiveness of that. And I, know, I think it would be reasonable for us to ask that question. Um, and we have done from this, basically, sort of blank. I think it's pretty, I think it's pretty atrocious to be honest. Um, well, yeah, and then we come to the most support management support officer. We'll, we'll discuss that later on. Um, so, yeah. really think that the requests from the council have not been not been met. It leads me to a, 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 a one of you anyway, um, which obviously is late. When we come to the considerations. Yeah. 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 considerations to be had. If I may, just just to kind of clarify my own experience. So, um, I did not have very many people are very not much feedback there. So in terms of the approved report that we have in terms of feedback of um, case studies and um, public opinion, you know where is this information? So this is the report that was delivered um, at a meeting, it's, it's the presentation basically, right. not the right. report yeah. yet, it's, it's the presentation of my performance earlier this year, um, with their, their key learning points and findings. That isn't you know, a report as such, no. but that's, that's the format in which the most recent information has been made available, so um, I'm un unable to provide any further report than that. Um, has anybody else got anything else to want to add? Sorry, yeah, Stuart, I, I, mean, I, I don't disagree with what, what Steve uh, has said about this. I, th I guess what comes out of this is that, that anything that we want to do in this area, we basically end up on our own, um, and that, that any tie up with any of the other services that are currently provided by Cheshire East falls out of in effect how, how we act next. So, the, the decision for me about this is do, do we think that the, level, that the investment that we're suggesting making in this area is going to make a difference? Is it going to continue, or will it deliver anything like the, the improvements in the algorithms that we saw from the current project? Um, <laughs> in many senses, I guess, if there had been a report, it probably would have said what a good pilot it was. <laughs> you know, yes, and, and that it engaged local community, which it did. Yeah. And it tidied up areas, which it did, yeah. and it got volunteers involved, which it did. Are we a, are we in a position if we were if we if we had to have the race officer on the back of, of that response from Chevrolet? Are we in a position to make any any difference, or or should we be considering using that investment in other ways in order to? I mean, I suppose the, the what surprised, maybe isn't surprising, but you would think that uh, Cheshire East as an organisation would want to know what the outcome was from its investment in that area. And you would want to know, you would think that uh, particularly councillors and crew, uh, Cheshire East councillors and crew, would want to know what the outcome was, and um, 
also picking up the, 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 the HMO issue again, whether that was actually making any difference. And I, and I guess that, that the absence of any of that means that, as I say, what, whatever we do about this, it, it, it's just basically not our own. That's why. So there's, there's a, one of the bigger questions is, is there a risk that if we do the work that ordinary treasuries would be ready to just fall apart and are we just transferring the cost of this to the crew regime rather than treasuries regime? So what would be a fair balance of funding for this kind of work? And, and the other thing is, um, how, how, what's the minimum amount of time do you think we need for us to, to, to do the project ourselves and how would we measure it in the future? I think if we're going to take it on, we have to think of our own matrix working out this and could we do that? In terms, um, in terms of that, we've already we made a step forward in terms of trying to build a framework around what we might want out of this job. Um, obviously, the option three is to conclude the requirements will not be met to get back to the other project. So, are we talking about maybe that step to get any forward? With a new approach, or are we trying to adapt what we already have? I'm going to make my views of the question. It's an interesting discussion we've uh, had. Um, I've said it in my opinion for things we've come back to. Whilst Cheshire's developed a local strategic partner, they face many operations. Some I perceive to be um, officer obfuscation, frankly. So, little, no intent to um, write the report. And others are based on the lack of financing and resource there. And I have a phrase which is very sharp, and I apologise for it again. But as an organisation, we're a parish council, we can't do enforcement, it's not going to be done. And showing Paul's ambition and leadership is <coughs> setting the plan and planning straight ahead. And when, when you keep a straight foot, you will develop a good crop. It's swerving to see what Cheshire is going to do next and if it's going to do that. It's, it's not meant to delegate Cheshire, it's a long job that we've been wasting our time on now. I feel it can do a good job. Most part of people want to build an area along the path because it's productive and it makes it look good. Um, but I feel stagnation is not going to get anywhere. I can put it off the news and say, let's get that, let's focus on something else. Or you have already, I feel, made progress in a decision to go in a direction. Um, the information hasn't been forthcoming, it's not been forthcoming. And we can ask all you want. We do. Don't ask just once, Carl. That's not what we do. We ask many times. And the is asked many times. I have mentioned many times. Um, and I doubt that. If this is the way members want to go, then the recommendation to the council be we must carry on, plow on ahead, to make services be delivered and try and make a difference to those facing the land of work in this town. The re reference to council, the I made to is a fair proportion um, use of funds. Are we just taking on the cost of Cheshire? Yes, that's it now. Cheshire's <laughs> can only do what we can do. Mostly it will be statutory services, everything else can cook and cook and cook until the balance is over. And they've got to do that because they've only got so much money. And that's the that's yeah. So if you want to do it, we have to resource it. And we can argue with rights and wrongs that all day long. It belongs to us, that's very easy. But it either happens or doesn't happen, it's going to happen, it happens from this end of the world. I'm going to write it there, I think in Cheshire, it's very good name of the institution. And it's been referenced about the devolution, you know, the best way to contact in Cheshire, for a number of years on this, there is no intent in Cheshire's executive office to do the work you want to know that. I would happily ask again, they have a direct transformation there, and I'll, I'll send them an email. I 
It is more expensive, yeah. If you want to go through it, it's going to cost more money. So, the uh, council might have um, Yeah, just going on from Councillor Hopkins' uh, comment about enforcement, we probably don't really know the level of enforcement we're getting there, but who, oh. who is yeah. requesting the enforcement at the moment? I know, you know, when someone bought a flight ticket, you know, fisheries come round in a van, take it away. Um, when you report flight ticket, you can, you know, put whether you were a witness to it or if you have anything, any information and put that thing in the Christmas tree. You can say, oh, this has come from, this has come from Chinese take away or whatever, and they can go and actually try and investigate. But if without someone asking for that, it doesn't happen. So if we had an officer going around looking at the flight ticket and making a request, we could be moving forward on it. Uh, so just a little comment about that. Yeah. Other question. What is the sort of minimum length of contract we're looking at for this? Are we 
But obviously we can adjust what we're doing, seeing how it works. So it's not going to be fixed because it's not necessarily going to be exactly this for three years and one life and it's going to work quite well. Fair. Do you remember the terms of that? In terms of a contract length, that was the recommendation because of the issues of recruitment for what was less than Yeah. As I saw the point I was making is some of these things in here we might find they're more important than others and one of those is more than certain parts of it, whether it's engaging with other things we're going around and just reporting the flight of the or whatever. I think if we don't do anything, then we just sit there and we've got to try something. I think that knocks it on there. Okay. The, the, and I was going to make the same point actually, what we have to do, and it's really picking up on Pete's point before about how we do things like and change, and change the, the agenda, you do it by, by pushing the boundary all the time. And we have done that all the time, haven't we? And even this year, you know, the lead suppression that we started this year, that's a, a step on. You know, the decisions we made about investing in the guy in the in the, 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 the person managing the parks yeah. is a step on. And we and that's exactly the right thing to do is to keep pushing it. And you and you never know when you when you get something going like that, what else that opens up. I th I think the point is is actually really well made. We need we need uh, now given the, the, the collapse of the cleaner and, and the lack of commitment to identifying the resource specifically for crew in enforcement, we thought we enforce, not in the same way, but we enforce the argument by being able to demonstrate the size of the problem. And you can only do that by, by providing the evidence. And we could be building that into the, the role of the, the waste officer. So picking up but it was the education point, Stuart, that you were really keen on with this. Um, and the, the direct talking to people, clearly not enforcement, because we can't do that, but, but having a mechanism of continuously sending information in and, uh, and, and then producing reports about, about Scale of the issues can only sort of keep up in the <coughs> There is one other issue which we've not mentioned, may as well be <coughs> that is um, the, the role was developed for delivery <coughs> to be employed by ANSA on the town council for about the minimum contract over three years. And so, yeah, the job out. Um, and the sort of thing that can be built on mm. um, but there's one of the obvious issues in that is that answers from the first place basically brought back in council by social media council. So there's references in there to um, you know, answers communications, so what do I do with answers communications team? It'll be part of the useful communications team for the social council as well. And they are, they are useless, that's not my view. You know, it's, it's, they're not so active.
But it, it, it will, you know, there will be a process in there, six months or that, that people will keep you to cross and all that, and all that stuff, and that keep being absorbed and cut, because it's even cut in terms of the project, will be <coughs> to, 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 to cut the education in the same way that people will see in the future patients. Um, so, <coughs> in reality, then, in fact, we're in six months' time, just to develop the paper six months' time, um, and six staff, across the board, four or five hundred or whatever, five hundred across the uh, money, will be transferred back into the council. So, then, we're talking about a uh, line management and human resources of the council, and, and the agreement between us and the council. So, are we happy with that? What's going to be the impact, actually, of the answer, you know, the transition? But for that, I don't know. I don't know. You can ask that one. The, the long story is there is another question being asked a lot in GPs about how um, current investment banks spend with Cheshire's and its subsidiaries. And it's significant in the place. So, the overview of how that should be. We, you know, it, it has to say answer and its successes, then that might be more helpful to you. But that's a technicality. I suppose, equally, if you put your grade by, it's down to you as members to decide whether you feel that having it managed by answer is a good thing, and answer or successes is a good thing or a bad thing, or if you want it to be directly managed, which is fine. But there will, and it's not a bad thing, but, but every decision is given to me. I proceed, right or wrong, if I'm one of the Clarify management will give it clear direction and clear responsibility. That said, working with ANSA as it is today has been positive. We've had positive relationships with the doctors and they, they do not tend to cause any obstruction to what we're trying to achieve. For example, with the range, they support and help and we work very well together. If that scene is in place after any transformation, I would hope that will continue. If not, then obviously we might have been disappointed. If no one's got a question, I can't. Two, two things. One is, I suggest we proceed uh, and recommend to Council that we that we, we continue with the, with the waste officer and that the job reflects <coughs> some of the discussion. The, the, the work of the job description reflects some of the the second thing is, I mean, I've I mean, I made the point over the, over the last year or so uh, on a number of occasions that at some point, if we are continuing to grow in terms of the services we commission, at some point, whoever the provider of the service to us is, there will be a point where that, that balance tips. From being the service of the Commission to one that we directly, uh, we directly employ. If we proceed with this waste officer on the same basis as the parks operative, with the rangers and so on, that moves us again another substantial step toward our guests to that tipping point, wherever that tipping point is. I guess people probably know where that is because there'll, there'll be a, a point on the scale, won't there? Where it, where it tips over. And, and, you know, if we continue to develop services in the same way, then we, we, will, we, will, we will get to that point of review every time we do it. So like David Lamb, reviewing the armed sales licenses, keep it constantly in the review, he said. So, um, I hope um, well, obviously, looking for the three options there, I think, uh, I mean, we seem to be, there's been a lot of talk now about the fact that we're sort of, we're sort of far ahead of that. With those ideas, to be aware of the potential of answer changing over. Um, to start off with then, I mean, I'm going to make, um, sorry, that's, that's I was going to say, it's simple, like the first option. Option one. So, do we have a second option? So all those in uh, favour of option one to proceed with developing the waste officer role without receiving further commitment or information from the Treasury's Council. All those in favour? In fact, it is unanimous. It goes forward as a recommendation. Yes. 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 Would you like me to include a comment about maintaining 
discussion around the uh, advance in the Fisheries Council. Councilman. There's just one other query where it says to work with residents under the uh, job description. Um, would housing associations <coughs> and other businesses be able to do that? Would it work with residents? So what do you mean? If, if, if you're happy for me to go ahead with the, rec with the, the option one as a recommendation, I will do that. If you wanted me to add that comment about maintaining, you know, reviewing and... I, I, I would suggest, yeah, yeah that, we, that we put in something about that we keep on assuming council agrees, we keep on reviewing the, 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 the provider of the service that we can Right, thank you very much. So, item eight <coughs> to receive an update on the work and the crew rate. Yes, that's the press, uh, we will be looking. New major for the effect, immediate effect, uh, as one of the teams moved left, left answer, uh, but that's one hand that we might have an answer quite quickly to that matter. Um, so, overall, the, the ranges have been extremely busy. I've included some statistics about the focus of their work. They've been very engaged, uh, particularly over the summer, in supporting events. Um, and activities such as the leaflets and uh, putting up gazebos and generally supporting um, everything that we do. Um, we are, we, they've had some training on the uh, use of uh, a weed ripper and we're just waiting for it. a risk assessment and method statement to come through so that they can start incorporating that back into their work and come off the service. Um, so uh, they're expanding what they do. Um, we have the new parks ranger, obviously, who's again begging very well. Um, he's had um, the, uh, the, the software installed on his phone now, it's called PXS, which is Public Service, <laughs> which um, has a list of all the recorded issues and faults on his playground and related tasks. So he's working through that now and effectively first repairs so that it needs to repair to uh, some of the play surface, for example. Part, which is the same as the site for as well as doing that work, uh, putting new seats on uh, swings in front of Avenue and identifying parts and uh, putting things into order. And he's got dedicated storage and that's like the brain now for all his equipment, the reporting tools and support tools to be ordered. So that bit is working really well. He's also worked as part of the team with the other rangers doing things like the plan centre clean up, which we use as a Team building activity, so uh, they blitz the town centre and clean all sorts of things. Um, so, generally speaking, working well, apart from the sort of resource issue which we're trying to address at the moment. Um, rangers are also asked to get involved in supporting community clean ups, and they've done that quite a lot recently. So, carrying away green waste. Just today, we had a frantic call to well, for example, uh, we agreed to take away waste from the volunteering day and expect a couple of loads, and I think they're going to be engaged all day with the tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's a lot of work on to start. Um, in terms of alleyway cleanups, I would just point out it's very difficult uh, to, it's not difficult to allocate that work to clean up alleyways to them, but without that on ground support and community involvement, it's a pretty much. Pretty much a wasted effort because <coughs> there isn't that holistic bit that you know, oh, sure. you need to get behind it. So we do tend to push back on those jobs, unfortunately. Uh, but we have to. And they have more work than uh, I think we can, we can actually have a But please do keep flagging up on the thing that you really want to do. Many things that we uh, should have been sorted out. I mentioned there's not a lot of just some of the 
like maintain it. Because the moved on to the next Responsibilities lie. We as councillors are responsible for setting policy, the green resource. Our officers are responsible for the, then for turning that policy into action. And this is a fantastic example of, of how that not only works well, but just continues to develop and, and evolve. And I think it's, uh, you know, 
know, it, it's, it's so much more, I think, actually, than we, we thought this would be when it was started off several years ago, and, it, and it's really moved forward well, well done. So, is there anyone wanting to set to note? I'm the poster. If someone would take a second, you can use the note as you So, item nine is to consider matters relating to budget allocation for public realm and regeneration projects. So uh, you will recall from the last meeting that there were some areas, or particularly in terms of um, uh, regeneration projects, where uh, we were committed to writing guidance on where that investment would be made. Um, there was just a bunch of £1,000 sitting in that budget while I'm working for some instruction. Um, so I provided some options around allocation of that budget. Uh, I've also uh, provided like a, an update uh, in terms of public realm. Um, we did identify as part of ONI committee, the, the forum of this committee, um, some areas uh, for investment into public realm and we'd be going to that programme of maintenance and repair and lift replacement and even ripping out things that we just don't want to see anymore, like natural recycling bins on Victoria Street. Um, so we should go into that process and there are only to continue along that line. Um, so I'll just go through, and we've also um, recently um, agreed on a project and um, uh, suppliers been selected to provide some town centre lighting or an additional town centre lighting that can be displaced. So if you remember, we, we agreed to light Victoria Street, which happened last year, and this year we are looking at the uh, trees on Market Square and trees outside the Market Shopping Centre, which were announced as street scene. In the evening. So now looking at the opportunities for um, allocation of the budget from here on in, looking first at public realm expenditure, there are some areas uh, in the town centre which still require attention. We have, um, it seems to be a proliferation of blue barriers around the tree pits at the moment, um, where um, the tree pits need to be uh, replaced. Uh, that they provide the preventive trip coverage at the moment. I have tried to engage with the highways officer and, uh, and I will establish whether there is an intention to do any work on those or not. Um, but at the moment, I've looked at some costs for putting in some replacement trip covers which are an aggregate product. I'm estimating at the moment around £12,000 if we were to replace the covers um, and the loose gravel, which is covering some trip. In addition, again, subject to some confirmation from highways, I have suggested a cost um, uh, to um, fix the gates on Queensway, which are there. There are highways issuing highway responsibility. At the moment, those gates um, are filtered and can't be closed. So we have cars getting into the pedestrian line for the closed area during the day, um, which is against traffic orders for that site. There's also a bench which was reported um, and has on its own blue barrier now, <laughs> which is a broken bench <laughs> which I expect will be removed um, and I don't anticipate will be replaced. So we could uh, replace that uh, and we could use it if we just need to replace it with something different. Um, we've also got a new crossing point um, at Vernon Way with a nice little plant of tarmac in the middle of the road which we could enhance with um, a floor display. And we also uh, still have some old planters around Queensway, which again we could replace with new. Um, and at the same time, can't we cover over a trip hazard tree pit that collapsed in that area or two. Um, so those are areas, if you're happy to go ahead and, and get final costs, I can, I can work with the speed around those for you. And then looking at regeneration projects, we talked at the last uh, meeting around the meaning of town centre management, which is uh, an area for this committee to um, be mindful of and to support. And um, I suggested that we 
because it looks like a strategy for the town centre. Bearing in mind all the changes that are taking place and all the new stakeholders um, who are becoming involved in the town, such as we talked a little earlier informally about the new operators we have it, we have the bid, we have uh, the youth zone, all these new stakeholders and the, the changes that are coming to the town centre, building on obviously the things like the car park and last year's work, etc. You could um, employ um, somebody to do some work with us, with other stakeholders, to sort of do a bit more visioning and sort of line up some new projects and some ambitions for the town. And that's probably about more about the softer projects than the big uh, economic development projects. Um, you could also make some interventions, some place making interventions, and do something um, a little different this year. Um, I've suggested some changes we could make. They're public realm related. First one being to look at blank walls, such as the Victoria Centre. Uh, there is a shutter art project which has been progressed, and I'm involved in a steering group around that. Project, but there are also lots of blank walls there, and um, that could potentially be a nice design project for students to design and get printed up some, some decoration for the board. Um, we could also think about commissioning something distinctive, whether it be some um, innovative seating or fireworks or um, some motifs that we could incorporate around the town that just add a flavour of the character and the heritage. Place. Um, and I've just put some in there, um, with examples such as uh, elephants, uh, you can put down those streets and then those streets come short and there's a story around like the elephants coming down from the station or horses or whatever, um, or, um, you know, motifs to go on planters, uh, word spelling, interesting fight racks, etc. So that's another suggestion. Um, we could also consider um, replacing the banners, which were supposed to be there for a couple of years, with the old crew, destination crew branding, mm -hmm. and replace those with the crew brand as stands, perhaps pointing out some of the high points of the place, so the hope of centre, some of the stories, etc., featuring in new banners. On Earl Street, yes. It does look awful, and they're not, they're not the town council's responsibility, but they won't be dealt with, I've already asked, they're not going to be dealt with unless they do it. Um, you could also perhaps consider uh, a town centre display which could be reusable, interchangeable with the Christmas lights, and I'm thinking we could use the infrastructure, infrastructure that will go up for that, so down Hill Street, uh, putting some cutouts again, a motif to be, to be confirmed. Um, crew out shirts. Crew out shirts, shirts in general, yeah. chest and suits, chest and barry, and yeah. art history and manufacturing there as examples. Um, and then finally, would you prefer to continue with something along the sort of interventions we've done in the past with animation, um, which would uh, complement Christmas activities, for example, or half so, um, activities just to uh, bring a bit of life. Excellent. Yes. And, and, and it really sort of hits on a number of the, the really significant areas to go for. Frankly, the crap in the town centre of getting rid of that because people see it. And, and it. and it really is so obvious. It looks, it looks so poor when you've got something ancient. Or, you know, it just it just adds to the attraction, um, which is so easy to do in the town. I think I'm just trying to think that I was somewhere a few days ago that had obviously gone through the public realm investment, and the the difference it makes when you when you've got good things to look at or things that are attractive. Or something that stands out that you go, oh, look at that. You know, it, it makes a huge difference. And, and 
you know, we've got some real opportunities, haven't we? Now? Um, when the assuming reasonably soon the, the rural arcade empty space is going to get grass, um, that's going to create a new focal point in the centre of the town, which would that ideally then to have the sorts of um, both the quirky stuff, which I think is great because it was, you know, it makes people look at it and talk about it, and why not? There, there, there are fewer potholes to moan about on social media now, so you might as well moan about something else. And, um, and I think also tying in some of these ideas about, about you know, pieces of art or structures which certainly relate to the heritage. And, and I mean, look, a lot of towns are doing this now. You know, there's a lot of examples around where people, where, where towns have done things which have been either specific about that their area or have done the quirky things um, that, that sometimes aren't, aren't there permanently, but there's a period of time and then when you move on to something else like physics. This is great, and it is an ideal opportunity now for us to move into doing this sort of thing. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. Um, I don't want to go into lots of detail, but I think the point about the blue fences is, is really important. Is, you know, since the car is in the policies to not replace trees by the roadside, they've been replaced by blue fences, which are a real hazard that came from the road. Yeah. So they've got to be sorted out where they stumps. Please don't let them put in more bike racks in without speaking to me specifically. Because the ones that are outside the bus station, they're precisely 50% efficient. Because they're so close to each other, you can't get two bikes in the same And there's design standards for these things that tell you how to do it. I mean, you know, Network Rail has got a really good set of design standards. And for the quality and heritage thing, to be honest, um, the genuine old, uh, the genuine railway wheel, you could just pick them up and come by and make sure it's there. That set in concrete would make a perfect double bike rack because you've got lots of places to put the gas from. And that would give you the big tick up your heritage box. And it would be a good uh, recycle, I don't know, the recycle you would use it. It would be used for that. Um, the other thing is, don't throw away the old planter because I've been looking at the little shopping precincts around. We've only been talking about the town centre, haven't we? But because people may are always back and forth in the food town for, actually, I don't know whether it's true or not, but I, I've got a feeling that those little food things are starting to be better used. And Fravel Road, for example, looks really green and shutters it down. And every business there has really made an effort to make their frontages look really good. They would love, and I've spoken to a couple of them, some planters outside. So if we could take those parties, I'm sure the businesses would adopt one and they do the craft themselves. I know that's not going to be a thing, but yeah, let's really use the cars and, and send them out to the precincts. Yeah. 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 Just a quick question. <coughs> you managed to get into the planters and other, <coughs> other um, materials that you are talking about replacing or upgrading. You actually get into the, the town council uh, um, Benches um, and those sort of items of big furniture are still in the game of furniture that potentially is council. There were discussions some years ago about making some public realm, which were never put west. And obviously, uh, lighting and things. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe just because the Painted things in 
enhance things without asking permission because I refuse to have Cheshire's for a six month decision to make their stuff better. Um, and so I would suggest we continue in that vein of, of engaging in a positive, proactive approach to improving the public realm whilst not getting bogged down in excessively abusive matters, if that's okay. But I'm not talking about the opposite, I mean, <coughs> Ben's come up with a really good opinion, so it's a really useful suggestion. We're going to replace something that's out of centre with something more modern, which is useful elsewhere. Well. You know, classes can be deep like so can she. Quite right, I mean, it's some of the smaller precincts and that would, you know, if they want them, you can perhaps help them. Mm. No doubt they have a problem with that information or something that can stop on the pay <laughs> But then it's not firm. We tend to take it. Yeah. An interpretive approach to that. Because of course there's always been a mistake. Something like that to come back to the planning and the rest of the So I have to be careful. I think you recognize that. I think you recognize that. Thank you so much for giving us one for me. I'm so sorry for doing that. It's one of the points of council. It's exactly the council. What's the best thing? I think it's a little bit of a um, <laughs> I lost it now. Um, yeah, I probably, I'm just thinking, I'm just dreaming about one of your sidetracks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so I, I, I love some of these designs. I, I think it was 10, 15 years ago, um, I got a company called, well, a company to design some bike racks in the shape of the tower. Of the tower. Um, and that would be about a set of one thousand. Yeah. I know we've talked about other things, but the signing mentioned the, 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 the big space that people are so mm. But I like, I like, I like the voice of what goes there. Because you know, there are lots of people saying, oh, look at that huge orchard there, and lots of trees and things like that. So you want to keep, keep an eye on that because I'm worried that it will just something will just happen without us. Could I just have one two more down questions? Thanks for the part. What we have in front of you is a buffet of options, not a cost of the list of an exact measure of yes. Um, but in terms of um, the placement in principle, I think the members are supporting that. Yes. When you, as you move forward, if you are supporting it, um, I would suggest that the city might be in the tone of the members would like to progress. Project and then we're going to see the officer in consultation with the chair to deliver what is possible with the available approval. I still have a question. Okay, please. Um, I asked a question about the plans for smart devils and so we can be looking at the space and finding new homes. What covers are they? Yeah, do you think you can just start? Do we look at it as actually our main river or pitch or and I think actually it's somebody else's? I mean, the gates on Queensway, I have to say, they're not ours, are they? I would be nervous. It's not my decision. I would be nervous of that being a higher priority because Cheshire's Highway knows their legal statutory responsibility for action and traffic regulation. In that case, I mean, that's one specific one that <coughs> might be perhaps a point out. <coughs> because that's one I think it, it might be too much desirable. But I would not be the case of just right to highlight right the right committee and the right to the committee to make it new one. Yeah. So is that on benches, someone lift their hours, or is it a bit doubtful? <coughs> yeah, go ahead with that. I'm not really sure about the, the, the roadway crossing point. I mean, I suppose it's a lot of money's been spent and a lot of time's been spent on. Um, but it's, it's worth us first thinking about it. Um, planted is discussed with something else. Oh, yes. Not the blank walls or the right places in that. <coughs> Working groups sometimes. Um, I'm a bit nervous about the other ones, particularly the colour scheme that, that might. Because the calipers we saw along Main Street, for example, I'm 
base this on, on an assumption of budget requirement for last year, so it could be slightly lower, it could be around £36,000 in terms of what we're paying now. That's a minor change. Um, range of service, the, the draft budget there um, shows a projected increase just again for inflation of anticipated extra costs. Clean the crew is subject to that decision by council in terms of whether to proceed with that or not. Floral schemes. Uh, it uh, includes inflationary increase, but also the potential to extend the floral displays, uh, which may come around with buying extra planters, etc. But as a member of the program, that she's there as well. And um, that also includes blue, which is very complicated. She can say that. <laughs> so <laughs> enter something like a blue and, and yeah. have some provision to do that. Um, in terms of green spaces, uh, the suggestion now is to make at this level, um, a level of investment. Um, most of the, 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 sorry, there's a, a, a big investment um, in the pocket parks in crew at the moment, uh, as we know, with the town's fund, but there are other parks that won't be invested in, and we may wish to consider continuing with that level to replace equipment in some of the other parks where equipment is quite dated and they're not going to subject to bigger investment. From other funds. Um, we've included in there play area maintenance, that ongoing cost of, a, of an officer, as we have at the moment, a ranger visiting those sites and doing repairs, effecting repairs. There's an increased allocation towards allotments, um, again, uh, inflationary, but also maybe further requirements to uh, invest in some support for them or down more trees or that kind of uh, expenditure. And then um, under regeneration, um, suggesting this change of name to place maintenance, which would cover all elements of public realm and regeneration projects, which at the moment um, is, is um, showing a change in that we maintain a, a place making slash public realm budget of £25,000 and remove the regeneration. So all subject to your view in terms of increases, obviously it's a large increase on the original budget for this year, it's probably closer to 25, <laughs> excuse me, 25% increase on where we were originally budget this year, um, a little less um, if we accept that we're already spending more this year um, on, um, on the playground. So seeking some further guidance and views from yourselves in terms of where you think that might go. Obviously, it's all subject to eventually looking forward to council towards the end of the year. You'll have another opportunity to look at this in November to make your final recommendation for those So we're seeking your views at this moment. Sorry, that's all. Thank you. Um, yes, please. Uh, I, I just, just my arms brought to the chest of rich metal um, railings that we do allow you to get done. But there was talk about um, highways putting in a, a, a floating bridge on the other side. So I think this is really great news to everyone who's doing that. Please it. Just check that there's nothing else going to happen that might uh, compromise it. Yes. Um, it might be worth building into here where we've always Um, so it doesn't look as if you know it's like the twenty five percent jump that hasn't already been taken out. Now clearly it's been paid out in terms of the current condition. But I think it's, otherwise it doesn't explain sufficiently why the warrant is such a, a big jump. I think on the um, the floral scheme one is a good example where actually when we've determined the budget when we got to that. Sharing that with people out the bid, then in terms of encouraging them mm -hmm. to contribute to that might be a good idea. I think, we, in terms of the, the next uh, play area, I think uh, we did, when, when we agreed to proceed with 
two-year arbitrations. We've had one for the world, a number of other places as well that were on the MHN. There weren't the, 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 the bigger investment in that was going to be longer. It's probably more important. And, and I suppose, uh, as we picked up earlier, the issue in the, um, in the reference after the figures to um, anymore. Um, yeah, can can we take up Pete's um, suggestion that he again writes to Treasury East? I think I think what we should do is express some disappointment that a year after we first discussed this and probably eight eight months since we had that all encompassing teams meeting with loads of people. Um, we've frankly made no progress at all. Um, and perhaps to re reiterate what was put, because it will always be put to us, well, have you told us what you want to do? Well, we did. So that needs to go, that needs to go back, I think. And the disappointment should be, we, we should be sitting around this table this evening talking about the impact of devolution of services features, what that means in terms of what we're going to deliver next year. And we're not at, at that point. And I think it's really, really disappointing. Um, but we've got to keep playing on about it, otherwise we won't get anywhere. We've got to get them into a position where they are identifying the value of the resource that they put into those things that they want to do, like street cleaning and green open spaces, and the outcomes that they currently get from that. Now, now you know, we've had this discussion, haven't we? They won't want to do it. But, it, but, it, but any organisation would have been so well know that already. <laughs> you know, and when it, it's, yeah, I can remember having, having this discussion with uh, Rachel Bailey a number of years ago when she was leading the Treasury, when I expressed some concern to the Conservative Administration, which involved itself in competitive change in public services, didn't know the value of what it was spending. One was then for it, and we're still in that situation. And we've got, we've got to, we've got to force that position. Um, and you know, as we're not in a, in a position to determine anything for this round of budgeting, it's time to push it again. Even, even Peter, if it means that we have to have a, a round table discussion again with you know, officers and councillors. About forcing it. Really? A lot of wings that we need for you. As I've said, I'm going to Yeah. Right, um, <coughs> the one, just apart from it, there's the clean tree, which is already been highlighted. Um, <coughs> maybe, maybe. Um, the one that I look at is the play area improvement because right, the, 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 the town council decided in the first place <coughs> to, um, to, to invest in specifically three the, 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 the initial principle was to invest on a rolling basis year on year yeah. in play area which will improve the stock effect across the town. So far, I mean, obviously, the thing is that there's a very large number of public parks across the country, in one way or another. I'm not sure how many of them across many of them. Probably quite the much of those small ones, too. Maybe. Rather looks like Jubilee, which is in the gardens, which is on a public park. It's in 
Well, Garland is a formal part of one of the only Jesuits in France, but they were pairing behind Julie Garland and they were in the same order. Because I think it's
thing I agree with it, but he talks about uh, you know, there isn't this in the silo outlook, but well, we look up our community, our, our app. And I'm not saying we do that, because we're the only one who is leading this phone to lack practice, but I, I what, you're saying, what you're saying is, is you know, what you're saying is, we could, you know, in effect, is we could look at this and we'd like this, and that, this is our wishes, and we'd like that. Well, I'm going to look at some meat in a week's time, and it will take the current draft budgets, combine them, and look at what that looks like, mm-hmm. and come to a mining decision to say, please inform the committee that if this goes this way, it will mean this, mm-hmm. and this committee advises uh, a level of X. And that might be the way it goes, much like a pre determined meeting. If that's the process of it, it's actually very positive, and it's certainly a good sign. If people are making committees for a start, so it doesn't work that way. But it's just, it's just a fair mind. I'm only throwing it in for context, not kind of direct. You, you express positivity about an ambition for you, that's great. Then we'll stick, there's always a plan on stuff. Yeah, because it's important to be aware of that risk. You're too focused on all the bits, yeah. and then you overlook something that's, you know, equally yeah. you know, yeah. you know, yeah. is pressing you in a different way. Stage of the state switches on things like you know, a roundabout and maybe other services, <coughs> you know, even so we just hold the ones to it. Yeah, you know, fancy, yeah, um, all the new parts, the ones that clean the crew, and all that sort of thing. So, to that point, Frank, um, with the, the what is the result here is either to support the draft project as it stands or to make any um, record amendments to it. Um, so, with that in mind, are there anybody here who feels that there, there are other things to make amendments, or are we going to stand on? If members are happy to stand, this is the draft, and it comes forward in November again. I think that's the, the crunch time where you might be asked by a client's own committee and council to consider some, some options at a, a lower than this. Might, you might be, F&G and council might say, go mad, do what you want. Uh, I guess I want to give you the you're, you're the mayor, yeah, it's not me. I just want to give the committee the opportunity to, to make it from the <laughs> committee. If there isn't anything that's on their mind, or are we happy as a whole? Just like all the time. That's the one. I'm not sure if you're happy to ask you 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 to ask Why is it it doesn't appear in the in the draft budget income or the allocation So so the budget allocation we discussed we discussed earlier, uh, allocation of regeneration projects is this year the system budget and for next year at the moment the the suggestion is that we don't have a budget like that, that we combine like the spirit of regeneration It's a name, yeah. and it's a number, yeah. of course it's on the basis of all the expenditure that's there. So, the right, the other the questions before I sort of ask for the proposal on um, supporting the draft project. Support the draft project. First, second. Okay. All in favour. Steve, did you uh, raise your hand there? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, so item 11 is to note the proposed date of the next meeting, which is Tuesday the 5th of November at 6 p.m.